good. God bless you guys. My name is Keith Sanford, also known as Reverend Kicks. God bless you today and forever. Guys, I don't know how long this is going to be. I just wanted to come on, let you know, uh, just to update you, be transparent about some things, man. Um, I've been posting a lot of the homeless ministry that I am uh, so honored and privileged to be a part of. And, you know, I, I, I got some, some footage and some content, you know, and I, I got it all edited and stuff. And I don't know, I just started feeling, you know, I know y'all guys like to see it and stuff, but I don't want to make anybody feel like that I am ministering and and uh, joining myself to my my friends and stuff for any any personal reason you know so I'm gonna probably slow down a lot on I'm posting the content uh, with the homeless ministry only because I want to be balanced and I want to I want to make sure that all my friends, all my family, whether they feel like it or not, I don't want, you know, I don't want, I don't want my, my, my friends and, and, and close people that I love and look up to, 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 uh, you know, even have any type of question of my motivation, you know what I mean? And it's not because they do or they're skeptical or anything like that. No, I just love them so much and I haven't been with them in over seven years, so you know, I think that although we've 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 touched base on and off throughout that time, now that I'm back with them and they are with me, I think it's important for us to just reestablish our relationship to so that we can get to know each other. Because I've changed in seven years, and I know they've changed in seven years. So I just don't want I want the love that we have for each other to 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 to, to be paramount be priority over anything else and of course if if they want me to to share something or, or or ask for donations of course I'll do that and stuff like that and you know I was just so the reason why I was posting so much I was just so happy about being back with friends you know being back with people that I've known pretty much since I've since my life changed you know what I mean and uh that's what's important and uh you know i've really been i have been i've been holding back on on different messages i mean i i i study every day you know and i encourage people all the time you know what i mean uh, whether it's people that was uh reaching out to me through excuse me guys i've been up a long time uh, uh, I had to wake up really early today, but um, you know whether it's people that reached out to me through the relationships I've built locally here in San Antonio through the postal service, or it's people that have uh, reached out to me through Facebook Messenger who are in the post office or retiring in the post office or trying to get into the post office, uh, you know, reaching out to me for 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 me to answer questions or to help them with some type of paperwork or, you know, issues that they might be facing, you know, um, so I always try to keep, uh, an encouraging word so that I can, number one, feed myself and, 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 and be, be, uh, disciplined with my studies, but also so that I can also you know, uh, minister to others, you know, and, um, I, I, God has given me such great opportunities to, um, be able to share, you know, encouragement with people that I grew up with, people that have known me since I was in, uh, elementary school, and, uh, also, those people that I've met 
um, during ministry. So I, I, I have absolutely nothing but gratefulness and joy in my heart. And I am so thankful and grateful for each and every one of you that take your time to watch the videos, to comment, to like, to subscribe, to ask questions, to be a part of this ministry, you know, be part of this channel, be part of this, uh, this thing that I think it started December 26, 2014, uh, on, on, on just a whim because I was so overwhelmed with, with, was brokenness, sorrow. I was just at the low point of my life in my Christian walk, and I didn't have an outlet. I had a mentor and a, and a, and a pastor that I'm up under still, Pastor David uh, Hendricks, and he he's constantly ministering and mentoring me, but it was just like I was just, you know, have you ever been just so overwhelmed with, 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 with life and circumstances that no matter, you know, you can have your best friend in the world and you just still have just so much. You're so full of that contaminant, so full of whatever the the dark thing that just sits right on your heart that you don't have no way out, man. And I think it was just uh, another outlet, man, just to pour out all of the things that had happened to me and on the basis of just getting it out and maybe by some small uh, word bring hope and, and 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 fellowship with somebody that might be going through the similar same or similar things and from there it just grew you know you know uh, it was just 26 of my my closest friends <laughs> 26 of my closest friends I had 26 I think I went from uh, 9 to 17 to 26 you know the first 4 or 5 years I had the channel and uh, you know it was just like my my uh, my family and my friends like you know my mom my my uh, I mean my yeah my mom my sister my nieces maybe one or two of my daughters you know <laughs> Uh, uh, Marcus, you know, he's like a brother to me, and uh, you know, uh, a couple other people that were in ministry with me, and then um, it just it just uh, happened to gradually, not at all one time, just gradually grow, 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 and went to a hundred, and then. Uh, Stayed at 100 for a couple years, and uh, I think went to 237, I think two years ago, and I think in 2022, it hit 300, or 300, and, and now over the past um, 10 months, it's, it's grown from about 337 to over 800. And it was because of y'all's faithfulness, because of y'all sharing, and because of, you know, really believe God's hand on it. And uh, I just really, my whole motivation is to be transparent in a way where you can see, uh, hopefully, something similar that I share or I'm going through that will encourage you to not only not to give up, but to, hip, to, to, to look behind you or look down. And, and, and if you see somebody in a position that needs help, that you would reach and help them because if it wasn't for the help of friends like you, family like you, there's no way I would have made it. There's no way I would have made it. God has sent 
people for my life, for the rest of my life, all of my life, guys. And uh, I really thank God for you. There are some, well, let me see which way I want to go. And then I'll, I hope I don't forget what I was going to say. But I want to say this while it's in my mind. We have hit 800. I was looking through the comments and I couldn't find any cash apps. And I looked even closer and I saw that most of the people that are commenting consistently they're my day oneers they're, they're people that, that, that have won <laughs> a donation so they're so, they're so uh, conscious of, of trying to get other people you know giving other people a chance to win the, the gift that they didn't put their cash app on there so I want to just say this what I'm going to start doing, and y'all tell me if this sounds good, for the, after we hit the next hundred, this hundred and the next hundred, from now on, what I'm thinking about doing, I should say, what I'm thinking about doing when we hit another seven, uh, uh, hundred subscribers and we go to the next mark, what I'll do is I'll wait two weeks and those looking for those, those cash app comments and if we don't get any new cash app uh, in the con comments that have not won, what I'll do is I'll just select all the people that have been commenting and I'll put their name in a hat and I'll just draw. And if you win again, praise be the Lord forever. I just want to continue to give, give, give because freely I was given, freely I will give. And $50 it is, it is substantial enough to make a difference in somebody's life. Like I said, I'm not rich. And I feel like if I sow into my followers, the people that are in my family, every time we hit 100, that at least I can in some way try to make a difference in people's lives that are part of our, my channel. Amen. If you lived in San Antonio, you know, we could hook up and hang out and, you know, It'd be different, but most of y'all do not. So in some way, I want to touch you with love the same way God has touched me. And that's just a way, if y'all can think of something else that can that can share that type of impact, you know, be feel free to, to, to share with me, you know what I mean? But my whole motivation is to touch people with the love of God and to encourage them, even in their most desperate, even their most... A sh shameful hard places because believe me if it wasn't for the goodness of the Lord and God putting people in my life that did not um, stop talking to me or shun me or or uh, shut the door on me I'd still be alone today because I am full of faults amen um, you know I grew up in the military and uh, I was born in Maine in uh, Loring Air Force Base and we moved to Kinchilla Air Force Base in Michigan and from Michigan we moved to Warner Robins, Georgia and when we were in Warner Robins, Georgia uh, my family uh, went to California for a little while in Long Beach, California so I lived in Long Beach, California for a little while and uh, after that, we went to, after we left Warner Robins, Georgia, which is just down by Macon, we were in Houston County, Peachtree, which we used to go to the Peachtree Mall, and uh, man, I struggled, I struggled in elementary school, I struggled so bad, and I can't remember when I developed this speech impediment, but uh, it was bad. I flunked kindergarten. I don't know if I was stuttering then, but I, I flunked kindergarten because I was so hyper, couldn't sit down, um, you know, all that. And people say, well, how in the world could you flunk kindergarten? I don't know, but I did. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that people used to, you know, even then as a kid, you know, I'd get bullied and picked on because of my, because of that. It wasn't that, that um, I couldn't, uh, 
passed the grade because of academics. It was always behavioral. And uh, so we went to, from there. We went to, to when I was in when I was in uh, when I was in Georgia. I just I struggled with stuttering. It I stuttered so bad I sounded like a car with that wouldn't turn over. Like and I had it so bad, guys. So bad. They thought I was mentally um they had a they thought I had a learning disability. They thought I was um yeah, they thought they thought I I, I had mental ret retardation, and uh, I struggled. And I think I was okay, I think I got there in third or fourth grade. Yeah, I think it was fourth grade. So fourth and fifth grade, I really struggled, struggled, struggled. And I think in the middle of fifth grade, God sent two teachers. I think it was fifth or sixth. But it was Mr. Han and and Miss Thompson. I can never forget them because they took the time to address my learning disability. It wasn't because I couldn't get it here. It's just from here to here there was a disconnect. I couldn't speak it out, and they worked with me show me how to take my time and take a deep breath and formulate it. because even now even now I, I struggle sometimes I don't have the stutter but in my mind I do and sometimes when I get when I'm in 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 in, in a heightened sense of awareness I will not respond because that is my, that is my, 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 my core tool to formulate ideas and thoughts and communicate. So they, they, what they did was they, <laughs> cause they used to sit, they used to sit me outside. You know, when people were taking tests, I was the one that was outside in the hallway taking the test and I used to go to speech therapy in the library and you know that's where my my, my uh, love for reading came from I can't remember the librarian but she was nice too but Mr. Han and Miss Thompson was the one that really individually each by themselves would talk to me, encourage me, and tell me, you know this, you're getting great grades, you, you, you have reading comprehension, it's just, you need to take your time, don't get nervous, because it is a nervous, stuttering is, 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 it is a, it is a, a side effect of nervousness, you know, and, and fear, and that's why I talked about the spirit of fear a lot, too, because I, I know firsthand what it does. It, it can paralyze you. And I was paralyzed. But what they wound up doing, not only encouraging me, but they would push me, push me to the front of the room and have me read and speak because they knew I knew the topics. You know, I was scoring really high on all the tests. It's just my ability to communicate. So for... That year and a half, they had me in the front of the room when the the uh, VIPs came. The, the 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 senior brass from the Air Force would come in to the school to do events or do specials or have hosts. They would have me as their fifth or sixth grade ambassador to interview musicians and and sports figures or even uh, uh, people f that, that were you know colonels and uh, generals and senior uh, chief um, chief master sergeants senior master sergeants people that that, that, that were that were uh, senior NCOs and senior officers and 
it was just that constant being in front of, 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 you know, the school and parents and, you know, the, the news agencies or whatever, and just being able to just memorize, you know, whatever it is that I, I needed to introduce or share, you know, and, 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 and that broke that stuttering it broke it it broke it so by the time I got I, we left my we left Georgia me going from 6th grade to 7th it was a 6th grade to, going to 7th grade summer that we moved to Texas when I got to Texas I had no stutter at all thank God for, for, for those teachers but um it was it was a struggle. I put up with bullying. I put up with so much racism. <laughs> there was only two black people on that base when I when I went there. No, I take that back. There's three that I knew of. There's three: Stephen and then Kim, uh, my sister's friend, Kim and, and, and her sis his her sister. Um, but but through it all, I, I learned to. To, to be able to to focus and to and to really just deal with my my faults, my insecurities, my weaknesses, and it, and, it, and, it, and it's helped me to t till today but 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 the reason why I was able to do that was because people looked back and saw me struggling I mean struggle I used to cry I used to cry I'd come home and be so upset because of the teasing and the bullying that I got and and just feeling like I was stupid, you know, and that I, I, I would never be able to, uh, speak clearly or, or, or without stuttering, you know, and, and, and be a part and not be pulled aside, you know, <laughs> but, uh, you know, Although we feel like that, I think it was necessary for me because some people need that individual, need that individual counseling and attention. You know, people don't learn the same. But once I got into learning, once I got into the fact that I I, I was gonna learn and 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 that I was I was doing better. And that it was working, I got into it. You know, I got into it. I just went crazy. I just read, 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 read so much. I mean, they used to trip out on how much I could, I could, uh, could re remember. You know, and uh, it was just a gift from God. You know, and. Uh, when I got to Texas, you know, everything changed. I mean, I was, thought I was, you know, because I met so many people in the military, people from all over the world. I thought I had a, a wider view of, of, of getting, getting to know people. When I got to Texas, my whole mind was blown. Drugs were introduced. Um, and that changed everything. Then you start seeing the the, 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 the the dark side of society, you know, and that opened my eyes to a whole new thing. And I it was easy for me to get caught up and lost in that world because I had never been I was never familiar with it. So it's just like taking a kid you know, it's like giving a baby ice cream that's never had any sweets. You know what I mean? Have you ever did that? You give a baby that never had sweet something, and they put it to their mouth, and they're like, 
and their eyes just go huge and they just try to grab a hold of it and you can't get it off out of their hand that's how I was with life and and this fast life and it took me down a road of death and destruction and uh, it was it was it was God putting people in my life that saw me at my worst and breathed life into me, loved on me, helped me through all these side effects of drugs and alcohol and living fast and loose and whew, being wild, being wild, loving, loving, loving that lifestyle. And and, and 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 it almost killing me. So when you hear me minister and I'm sharing something that might step on some people's toes, it's not to hurt anybody. But it's to warn people. I don't know how many people that warned me. I had a bishop in 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 Alabama. And it was in between. I think I was in. I think I was in great. I think I was still in elementary school. I think I was in a third, second, or third grade. And he told me, Keith, your mouth is going to get you into a lot of trouble if you can't control it. I love Bishop Harris. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness such a crazy, I mean, God used that man such a mighty way. If I can get a picture, I'm going to post it. He had moles right in the middle of each of his hands. It was crazy. And I tell you what, that man, I seen authentic miracles. This guy prayed. It's crazy. So many crazy things. Never was never was a musician, but one time during service, he was preaching. I mean, this guy preached. Woo! He preached so hot and heavy, you felt hell fire and the flames of 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 of, of the bottomless pit pit licking at your face. <laughs> Man, he preached. He preached. Oh my gosh, he preached so hard, but he was such a, he was such a, oh man, he was such a great man, loving man, caring family man, and he, he always had his hands on his children, always made sure that they were in line, and, you know, just loved on them and just made them accountable, but he made us too, you know, he was the same with everybody, but he had a daughter that had a skin disease and it she had scabs from the crown of her head to the soles of her feet guys and oh man she was one of our best friends because she was our age she was uh she was d deedra she's like my sister but she's my first cousin she was deedra and movita my oldest sister my i only have a sister but they're older and, and and me, we were all hung out in church and after church we'd play outside and we'd go to Bishop's house and his wife and we'd eat and hang out and man, she had this skin disease. I mean, it was bad, guys. I mean, everywhere she have have scabs. It was because she had sores on her on her on her on her body and they would scab. And in the summer it gets so hot because there was no in Alabama. It was in the country, country. I grew up in the excuse me in the country, country. I mean country, nothing but red clay and dirt roads. And this was a little church, about a hundred people, hundred and fifty capacity could fit in that little old church. But we would have church. Oh my God, we'd have church. And it was just on on one Sunday. It had gotten so bad one summer. 
that she was sitting in the back just crying, crying because it was she was in agony, tormented by those sores itching, and she was just scratching. And we just started crying with her because it made us, I mean, it made us sick. We were so, oh, we just felt her pain. And we were just crying, and they just stopped the service. And uh, I don't know, one of the prayer mothers, somebody brought her up to Bishop Harris, and Bishop just poured a whole bottle of, of olive oil that they, they had prayed over all over her and just rubbed her, and everybody was just crying and praying for her, just crying and praying for her. And, uh, you know, she stopped crying after they did that, and uh, we played her, whatever, didn't even think anything of it, you know, weeks later or whatever, but by the end of that summer, by the end of that summer, um, we'd be playing, and she would be scratching, because she'd still scratch, but when that sore had a scab on it, and she scratched it off, guys, her skin would be just as smooth as a baby's bottom. I mean, there'd be no mark and no blemish. And by the end of that summer, Jesus, she had no scars, no scabs, no sores, no nothing. As sure as I am talking to you today, God completely healed her of that disease and uh, Bishop Harris told me he told me he warned me then he warned me then and I can't tell you how many times that if I would not have opened my mouth or I would have taken time to think about what I was saying that I would not have had a negative consequence for whatever it was I was going through and, and I've had people through my life, all my life, my mom, my dad, my sister, my aunts, my uncles, so many people that have warned me. They saw the direction I was going. They saw where was I was heading and they called out to warn me to turn back, to, to, to don't go there. Do you understand what's going to happen to you? And I just like, ah, you're old. You don't know what you're talking about. Or, man, I'm going to do what I want to do. You know, you're not the boss of me, you know. And, 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 and it was, it was that constant warning that when I reached a point in my life where I knew that what I was doing was not working and that it was leading to my death, and, and, and I, and I, and I had got myself in such a bad position that I couldn't get myself out and nobody that knew me, loved me, wanted better for me, could get me out. I talked to God and God got me out that all those things, all those warnings, all those, those, uh, interventions came flooding back into my mind and, 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 and I'm thankful today for it. So, so. The people must tell you the truth, and sometimes the truth might hurt your feelings, but it's not for your bad. It's only for your good. Amen. And I, I know I'm going all over the place, but I just want to be transparent. I want everybody to know that I'm a dying man talking to dying people, and 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 I don't know. Um this might be the last time I talk to you or, 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 or you hear that, that Jesus knows exactly what you're going through. And, 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 and no matter if you have a stutter, no matter if you, cause it was so, Oh, I'd be so embarrassed. I was so ashamed and, and it caused a lot of low self-esteem. It, it, it caused me, I believe to seek people's approval because I had been ridiculed and cast down and castigated and marginalized and beat down and beat up so long that 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 when you get a little bit of approval, 
it it it, it seems like it, it it kind of kind of like mend some of that those wounds that you got but 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 you know popular opinion is not it's not the be end all and be all to your life, and sometimes the, we we can get confused and think we're pleasing God when 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 we're not, and we're just pleasing people. So 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 it's the Lord that gives you your validation. It's the Lord that gives you your identification. It's the Lord that can give you clarification on who you really are and God will use those people in your life for the rest of your life to speak into you and to warn you encourage you but also warn you if they see you heading down a path of danger amen but I, I believe that we're all going higher I believe this is a season and this is a time. Excuse me, guys. When 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 God is really rallying people together, that we should not <clears throat> we should not fall back or run away from from reaching out to people to check on people and I want y'all guys to know you can email me it's my first name and last name k-e-i-t-h-s-a-n-f-o-r-d 39 at yahoo.com you can download I mean you can uh, you can write a comment you can inbox me on Facebook it's t-a-w-n-y-a dash k-e-i-t-h S-A-N-F-O-R-D That's my Facebook page And you can reach out to me I had a guy reach out to me That I love so much And he just I'm coming. He's coming from incarceration And he's been clean for I think almost six months Or eight months And uh, just, just Was discouraged because He prayed for somebody uh, that was uh, facing uh, termination and, and he got terminated and I had to encourage this man that the same God that delivered him out of situations could deliver that man and just because what he prayed didn't he didn't feel like it came out the way he wanted to that, 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 that our ways aren't God's ways. God's thoughts are so much higher than our thoughts. And his ways are so much higher than our ways. That even though it looks bad, God can work it out for his good. And all things work out for good. For those that love God and are called according to his purpose. And I, and I told him that that same God that can deliver you out of your situation and turn it around for good can do the same thing for him and God can go and reach people that we've tried to pray for and God didn't answer the prayer the way you we wanted it to and God still can reach him God still can go get him God still can bring him into the sheepfold he can still save and deliver him he can still restore him God there's nothing that God can't do but we have have to give them to God just like somebody gave us to God and allow God to do the things that he can do and we just trust God and keep on believing and keep on sharing God's word and keep walking with God because that is faith faith is not about a feeling it's not an attitude it's not a it's not it's not a it's nothing that you can it's not something that you can figure out in your rational mind faith is a fact and that fact is based on what thus saith the lord amen well guys i have talked to you for almost 40 minutes and i know some people might not listen to it all but those that do, thank you very much. I love you today and forever. And please, next week, I will start 
If there's no cash app comments, I will start going through the comments, getting names. I'm and then the third week, which would be the first week of October, I think, because today's the 23rd or 24th, right, guys? So I'm going to wait till the first week of October, probably the Tuesday or Thursday of that week, and do a drawing. And I will try to contact the people that I draw, two people, to win the $50 gift, and then I will try to notify them, unless they're cash app, and then I'll just cash app them, <laughs> and then they'll know, and I pray that if you win, that you would, uh, that you would uh, 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 post it, or make a comment, or something, so I can highlight it, and share with everybody else that that, 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 you, that you were the winner of the gift and and just share if it was a blessing and what you what you feel like God wants you to do with it amen it's yours to do what you please I love you guys I'm praying for you I just wanted to just spend a little time with you to do some real talk kind of talk to you about my life what I've been through and just give you a little insight to my background, because I know I probably haven't did that in a while, okay, I love you guys, God bless you, I'm praying for you, and God knows how to deal with the things that we can't deal with, so let's just give it to God, amen, and let's trust him, thank you Father, we release miracles, I pray that you would release miracles, signs, and wonders, I pray that you would divinely protect and supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory. And I pray that great grace and divine favor would be our reality for today and forever. Please cover and keep our family and friends. And we give you praise, honor, and glory for you are worthy of all glory and all honor. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye-bye, guys. Love you.